Here's the field for the eighth race. Number one, Hawaiian Nani, Andy Miller, the driver. Number two, low places, John Campbell. Number three is Lady Ann Matthew, and the driver there is Brian Penske. Number four, Lady Jate with Steve Condren. Number five, I love Madge, Peter Wren in the bike. And number six, Lady A with Jeff Fout. First half of the late double, exact to wagering. The win back farm and the international stallion stake for these two-year-old pacing fillies in only four minutes from right now. Rolling for the win back farm. Field is less than an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're often pacing low places, and Hawaiian Nani away quickly from the inside. Those two immediately to the front of the field, and Lady Ann Matthew drops in behind them. Campbell in low places didn't seem like they necessarily wanted the lead real badly, but Hawaiian Nani is going to let her go, so low places decides to go ahead through that first eighth of a mile and go to the front of the field. Hawaiian Nani picks up cover second. Two and a half more back of her to Lady Ann Matthew, who's traveling in the third spot. Another gap of two to Lady Jate. That one is followed past the quarter mile mark by I Love Madge, and Lady A is last. In 28 and 4, they move on to the back stretch, and Low Places has the lead by a length and a half. Hawaiian Nani, then Lady Ann Matthew, Lady Jake, I Love Madge, and Lady A is at the back. Those six freshman pacing fillies work their way up the back stretch and over toward the half, and Low Places is not seriously tested so far. Low Places has reached the half in 56 and 4, so a 28 second quarter there with Hawaiian Nani staying covered up in second position. Lady Ann Matthew may soon come to the outside from the third spot, and now Lady Ann Matthew is on the move with Lady Jate moving up with live cover behind her in fourth. I love Madge is down to the inside in fifth. Lady A is last. They're three in, three out on the far turn. Four and a half lengths from front to back. Low place is the one to get, and Lady Ann Matthew is the one trying to get her. Off the three quarters in 126 and one. Low place is shortly top of the stretch. Lady Ann Matthew is there just off her flank in second, and Lady Jade is still three lengths away in third. Final eighth mile. Low place is hanging tough on the inside, and Lady Ann Matthew is under a repeated whip and not doing enough to chop down the margin. Low Places is going to take the win back farm. She's simply the best. 154 just to tick off the stakes record. Then it was Lady Jate in second and Lady Ann Matthew third. Now returning to the winner's circle, number two, Low Places, finished first, owned by Jack Darling Stables, limited by Audrey and Daniel Smith, trained by Darling, bred by John Cummins, driven by John Campbell, 154 flat. The official winner is number two, Low Places, a filly by Jake Lobel. She misses the stakes record by just one-fifth of a second in this 154 mile. The Winback Farm Trophy will be presented by the Winback Kentucky Farm Manager, Gray Barnett. Went back, has already sold a big yearling consignment, in particular at Tattersall's last week, but I believe they may have some more yet to be offered later on this fall. Of course, as the sales scene eventually will move to Harrisburg, the 2-4 exact on this race, $22.40, 3-5-2 on the, the uh, Pick 3 series, 
is worth $29 even on that pick three. The ninth race is 15 minutes away. Scratch the four, Holly Hill Bow a scratch. Kurt Sugg drives the seven, Super Pan in 15 minutes from now.